Hi Libra, welcome in. The details to this reading are located in the description box, but be sure to take what resonates. Leave what does not resonate for someone else. At the end of the reading, I will be pulling cards for their sign, the sign you are dealing with. Let's see. Okay, we got Taurus energy here. There's somebody in their head about this situation. Why the higher fence? Ace of Cups. There's someone who feels very strong spiritual tie to you. Okay. It's emotional. And they're really in their head about it. They're restless over this. I feel like because they're doing nothing about it. It's an overwhelming feeling. Like this person has actual anxiety over starting over with you. Bottom of the deck, we also have the Hermit with the Empress. Divine Feminine Energy. I feel like somebody... Yeah... You know, they withdrew from the wrong person. Okay, and now they can't stop thinking about you. And I have to say, Libra, this person thought that you were going to be easily forgotten. But it's just getting louder. Their feelings for you have actually grown. And it's getting louder and louder and louder. So you're not easy to forget. They thought that they could just withdraw and that was it. But guys, the Empress is energy of like growing, growing, growing. Okay. And it's like ever since they mistakenly with the fool, they, they did something without thinking and I'm getting it was for, it could be different for all of you, but it was mostly just withdrawing from you when they had romantic feelings for you. They didn't think that through. Okay. We have Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius here. Okay. Let's see. With the star. Yeah. You know, the star is the energy of them seeing a lot of signs. All the signs are pointing to you. But the two of pentacles, that's them. They're really confused. Like, I'm getting someone here is juggling. They're not quite sure what to do with the information that the universe is sending them. There's a lot of uncertainty here. I'm also getting something about a band-aid, like someone thought they could slap a band-aid on their healing and it's, it's not working here. What else? Wow. They can't forget you. And I'll tell you with the two of pentacles, they have done everything to try. And forget you and leave this alone, but they just can't. The this it could be a Gemini or someone with a strong Gemini placement, but it's like this person cannot run from this connection because even physically apart, they they do nothing but think about you. And they're very vulnerable right now because of that. And you know, there could be forbidden fruit here. You could be some kind of forbidden fruit to this person. But there's definitely a lot of space between you two. Okay. The lover's card. This is definitely a spiritual, like you have a, a spiritual attachment with someone here. And the thing about this type of connection is like the longer you two stay apart, the more their feelings are growing and it surpasses logic. It doesn't make sense to this person. I feel like that's what bothers them the most. They can't logically make sense of it, of why you've imprinted on them the way you have. How do they see Libra?
For some of you guys that are awaiting some type of judgment from you, or they feel as if you are judging them harshly for something they did or said or lack thereof, but they see you as ignoring them, ignoring the situation. They're very confused here, wanting another chance with you. And I see this person is wanting to reach out with the Page of Wands, the Hierophant. But they see you as someone they should have taken more seriously, is what this is saying. Like, they should have taken you more seriously, and they didn't. I feel like this person definitely has a question. Definitely want to ask you something here, okay? Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more. They want to know if you still have feelings for them the way they have feelings for you. It says, I still have feelings for you. They're wanting to know if you still feel the same. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Now, that forgiveness is them not acting, them not acting on their emotions, okay? Their life is not as together as it seems, but you're inspiring them to get it together. The feelings they have for you is inspiring them to get it together, Libra. What are their next actions toward Libra? We're going to do what do they want to do next versus what they're actually going to do next. What do they want to do next versus what they actually... Okay, Queen of Pentacles, well, they want to talk to you. They want to find a solution. But guys, I don't see them actually. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles for what they want to do. Okay, Queen of Wands. This is definitely a decision they want to make. The Lovers indicates also options, choices. Okay, there's definitely some choices here coming out in your reading. They feel like you also have choices, though. Okay. They're trying to figure out how to withdraw from someone or something else. So it's telling me they want to, they've already withdrawn emotionally from something else. Queen of Pentacles, it's like you are the more practical choice. And what I mean by that is like you have all the qualities that they want another person. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, she does everything. She is everything. She's practical. She, she can do it all, right? She's serious. And I mean, she's just the more, she's the, the, she's the chosen one. I mean, she's the one that this person wants to pick. But what they're actually doing here is they're not making a decision and they're making things, this is self-sabotaging behavior. They're sabotaging themselves. They're not going after what it is they truly want, but they've already emotionally withdrew from another situation. That's the thing. Like, I just don't really see them doing anything about it in the immediate future. Tell me more about this. Yeah, they're just kind of held back, but holding on to you. They don't want to make it. They don't want to make a permanent decision. I mean, they've obviously want to choose you, but they're not wanting to actually like pull the trigger, so to speak. They're not actually wanting to make a final decision. What's the reason? They're holding on to something. This four pentacles could, yeah, and then the devil could indicate some type of materialism here. They could be holding on to assets. Let's see. What, what are they holding on to? Well, they're not holding on to anything. They're just prolonging their exit. So I do see this person ex eventually exiting a situation, but they're prolonging it. They're making it last a whole lot longer than it has to.
What do they like about Libra? What do they like about you, Libra? Wow. They're obsessed with you. You have a hold on this masculine. You know, male or female. Okay, if you are if you if you are the masculine in this situation, they're obsessed with your masculinity. They're obsessed with the way you carry yourself. If you're the feminine in the situation, you have a hold on this masculine. All right, they're definitely obsessing over the situation, obsessing over you. They're attached to you, but it's physically they're somewhere else. Like there's a physical separation here. For some of you guys, if it's an emotional separation, there's still there's still an attachment, like a hold you have on this person. Yeah, look, and it's spiritual, the Hierophant. There's definitely some type of soul contract here. I'm getting like a ball buster, the Queen of Swords. You tell it like it is. They like your Queen of Swords energy, how outspoken and direct you are. I feel like what's interesting is they're not confused about who you are as a person. You show up, I think you show up very authentic, authentically, and that's what they like about you. You're, you're definitely different than the rest, okay? They really like the fact that you separate yourself from other people, like you are a lone wolf or you don't need the val, you don't come across someone who needs validation from other people. They really like that about you. You have a strong sense of self. They're wanting to reach out. They're just prolonging it. They're wanting to connect or communicate something here. Give me one more hidden truth. It says they're recovering. Yeah, so they're, they're trying to figure things out, guys. This, you know, this hermit energy is them soul searching. But they're definitely emotionally withdrawn from something else in their life. Wow, it says they left you before you could leave them. So they thought you were going to leave them. They can't stop thinking about you. They thought you were going to eventually reject them if they wouldn't have. This is for all of you who've been ghosted by someone or somebody withdrew from you for unknown reasons. Like they did it because they thought that once the mask came off, you were going to leave them. Or there was some sort of inclination that you were going to walk away before them, so they just did it first. But now they can't stop thinking about you. The main signs I have, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. Could be any sign, though. Okay. Okay. Let's see, we're going to do Aries through Pisces. Okay, sorry, I had to catch my breath. <laughs> All right. Aries through Pisces. This is if you're dealing with this sign, okay? Spirit, Aries through Pisces. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, I see a message coming in from an Aries. This Aries is very interested in you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're in their head about you. They hold themselves back because there's a, they, they feel like you will, you'll reject them if they were to reach out, but they're in their head about this. They also, they're stuck. They feel stuck wherever they're at. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini likes you, Page of Cups, they have emotion for you. The emotions the Gemini have are still blossoming. If you're dealing with a Cancer, the, the Cancers focus on their stability right now. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're heartbroken over the situation. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo is coming back. If you're dealing with another Libra, they're obsessed with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they like you. They know that you are what will make them happy. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, the lovers, there's a strong, passionate connection between you and a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I see a message coming through, spontaneous communication coming in. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're waiting for you to reach out. 
If you're dealing with a Pisces, they miss you. Okay, they, they, they feel like you guys are really compatible. All right, Libra, those are your messages. If this gave you clarity and you enjoyed it, uh, definitely hit that thumbs up button. I do appreciate all the support. Until next time, bye.